Hi everybody, it's a blistery day here in Indiana. I've uh, got a th heat pump with a bad defrost thermostat and uh, got the part under warranty and you'll see I'm wearing my motocross goggles today. Uh, hopefully you can hear the sound on this. Uh, I'm changing out this defrost thermostat and I want to show you, give you a few tips uh, how I test them and there's the heat pump. It's a Gibson 12 series unit. Uh, you'll see I've got the new defrost thermostat put in place and you probably can't see it but there's a uh, thermistor uh, at the, connected to the, the YouTube below it. There's my thermometer. Uh, getting ready to uh, put the fan on it and fire it up and uh, we're going to test the temperature of this new thermostat to make sure that it's within range of working. So you'll see that in the meantime I've put a jumper across the defrost terminals and also I've changed the, the uh, time setting to 90 minutes. This just simulated a defrost thermostat that was made all the time so that it will go into defrost each time this board kicks out the defrost after 10 minutes. So I switched it to 90 minutes to uh, justify the 10 minute defrost cycle. So we're going to get this thing back together and probably I'm not going to show you putting the fan back on because that would take too much time. We're just going to set the fan back on top of it and start it up and do our test. The original thermostat was supposed to make at 32, kick out at 68. It was making at 2 degrees and kicking out at 123 degrees. So that's pretty far out of range. Okay guys, uh, join me for the second part and we'll uh, check out the test. Thank you. Bye. 